Uh, this is a historic time in our world and in our country. And as a coach and as a team, we will do our part to create positive change against racism of any kind, social injustice and police brutality. I always have believed that actions are a lot louder than words. And I love our team for the actions that they have already taken uh, with a great town hall meeting, uh, lots of communication in our position meetings. Uh, we had a wonderful senior meeting last week with just great discussion and, and just, just awesome to see uh, and hear our young men uh, speak and, and just wonderful brotherly love. Uh, we've got a team meeting uh, coming up and many other things. Uh, so I'm proud of the actions that our, that our guys have already taken. Uh, we're just a football program and I'm just a football coach, uh, but Clemson has been a leader on and off the field for the past decade. And we will continue to be a leader and a light for many. We are a unified football team and we will work to unify others by how we serve, by how we play the game and by how we do our jobs as a staff. We have always had great leadership within our program. And man, this team is no different. Uh, it has been incredible to see this brilliant group of young people uh, lead right now. And uh, I'm so proud of them. This group of leaders on this team, they are ready to lead the way and being a part of the solution for this country. And I stand with my players and I will help them any way I can to unify people and help create positive change. I want to address a couple of the, the issues that were talked about this week. Uh, first of all, I would say anybody who has been in our program, they know that there's two words I don't want to hear. There's a lot of them I don't want to hear, but there's two in particular that I will absolutely call you out on. One is the N-word and the other one is GD. I would fire a coach immediately if he called a player an N-word. No questions asked. That did not happen. Absolutely did not happen. It has not happened. Uh, a story broke this week and uh, the story was not in context. But what happened was we had, I didn't know anything about it. Uh, it was a coach and his player, Coach Pierman and DJ off doing a drill in a part of the field. It wasn't in front of the whole team or anything like that. And Coach Pierman was correcting DJ, he didn't do the right thing. And I think DJ or, or the other, another player was talking to DJ or DJ was your player. And DJ, you know, just kind of, you know, said something he, he, he probably shouldn't have said. And uh, he said, you know, I blocked the wrong effing N-word. Um, and Coach Pierman, you know, thought he was saying it to him. And he's mad and he reacted. And, and he basically, in correcting him, repeated the, set, the, the phrase. And he said, we don't say we blocked the wrong effing N-word. And he repeated it. And, and, uh, and he shouldn't have done that. Uh, there's no excuse for even saying that. It doesn't matter what the context is, but there is a big difference. Uh, he did not call someone an N-word. And so again, I didn't know anything about it. Uh, things happen. There's a lot of things I don't allow in our program, but when things happen, uh, we deal with them. And sometimes it's in private, sometimes it, it's public. Uh, this particular case, the player came to me in private and we handled it in private. And I think it's important to know uh, because every case is different. But this particular player, uh, DJ, <laughs> I've known him his entire life. Coach Pierman's known him his entire life. Uh, but uh, he brought this to me in private, told me what happened. I met with Coach Pierman. He was profusely apologetic. And he told me exactly the same thing. Uh, also consulted with Coach McCorby on it. And uh, uh, we moved on. Uh, Coach Pierman apologized. And we moved on. Uh, and, and I think it's also important to know uh, this player's dad, he and I have worked together for going on 18 years. He's been my strength coach for 12 years. And uh, uh, the Greenlee family, they're family. And so, uh, you know, there wasn't anything swept under the rug. There wasn't some dirty secret. Uh, we handled it uh, head on. Uh, and also we'll say that forgiveness and grace, I think, is important. It's important. Uh, for any of us. 
Uh, but I've known Danny Pierman for 30 years. And Danny Pierman is a good man. He's had incredible relationships with his players. You can call Dwayne Allen. You can call Jordan Leggett. You can call Brandon Ford and, and on and on and on. He's had great relationships with his players. Uh, so uh, this was totally out of character, but we dealt with it and we and we moved on. Uh, we have great communication within our team and, uh, uh, you know, it was handled. Uh, the psych sit in. Uh, we had players participate in the psych sitting, and I would never uh, tell someone that they could not go participate in something they believe in or exercise just their basic right. I would never do that. But as a coach, our job is to teach, to educate, to protect, to inform, and you know, consulted with the staff. And I stood in front of the team, and, and the only thing I said to the team was, it "Just if you're going to participate." Make sure you know what you're signing up for. Make sure you know what the agenda and the message is, the fine print, if you will, uh, because you.